Hi, Facebook. How are you? Um, I have something I wanted to say. I wrote it already, so I'm going to uh, reiterate it by posting it on a live feed video. Um, you're welcome to share it if you feel the same way. If you don't, I'm really sorry, um, but this is my words and this is how I feel. And I've decided that I am taking it back. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this, and I believe Facebook is not what has caused arguments, emotional separation, and verbal battles. Uh, these healthy debates turned slanderous threats weren't created by social media any more than a vehicle can create a journey, any more than a knife can slice a steak, and I love steak, or a guitar can play a tune. People, us, we decide what to say and how to respond. When the line between respect and disrespect is crossed, it's, it's like an eggshell that's been damaged. Cracked or crushed, it makes no difference. It's only a matter of time before it loses the most precious part inside. Yes, we may be influenced by things like family, friends, media and commercials, by events that cause emotions to run high, but isn't that our choice as well? Don't we control ourselves and how we react, what we say to one another? I have a very simple challenge for everyone. Use words and actions that you would only use with your grandmother. My peace, my culture, my world, and I'm taking it back. If you can't post, respond, or react in a way that would still be respectful to your grandmother, please remove yourself from my friends list. I choose not to be a part of or influenced by a culture that has no respect for and is tearing apart our most precious commodity, the human race. I love you all but we'll miss some of you. That's just how it goes. Sometimes to protect ourselves emotionally and psychologically, we just can't be friends with everyone. I'm taking it back. And I hope that you decide to take it back as well. It's your world. You decide how you wanna live it. 